Welcome to the Dizzy Dean wrap-up show. This is the 1934 Dizzy Dean replay that I did. Uh, I did not put all the games on YouTube, uh, obviously. And there's a major reason for that is because it was a very frustrating replay, to say the least. Um, Dizzy Dean is not the most overpowering pitcher in the world. He's not a Randy Johnson. He's not a Pedro Martinez or... You know, guys like that, Roger Clemens, he's not going to strike out a ton of guys. He's around the plate a lot, doesn't walk a lot of guys. Uh, so he's going to give up a lot of hits. Um, uh, and that's what he did. And a lot of, also he had a lot of bad luck. It was, you know, that was part of the frustration was just some bad luck. I don't know how many times we got to the eighth seventh eighth ninth inning and he had maybe a one or two run lead and you just after a while you just got to a point where you just felt like he was going to blow it uh you know he'd walk a guy first walk of the game seventh inning eighth inning whatever and next guy up singles next guy up doubles you know and those two guys have probably struck out a couple times already it just you know and next thing you know he's losing it happened quite a bit, which was uh, a big part of the frustration. But let's take a look at the numbers. Like I, I said, I've just done the uh, starts. I just played the starts, that's all. He pitched in a lot more games than that. He, uh, as you can see here, his overall record was 30-7. and seven. Uh, He had 33 starts, which is what I played. And, of course, seven saves. Pitched 312 innings overall in real life. Now, in the actual starts, he pitched 280 innings. And in my replay, he pitched 281 innings, or 280.1, which is uh, right on the money. I did not plan that. It just That's just how it happened. It literally happened that way because uh, there was one game in real life where he pitched 17 innings. And uh, but there was also a few games where he pitched three innings and five innings and stuff like that. So it just turned out that way. You know, most of my games he pitched pretty much the whole game. Uh, I stuck with him pretty much through thick and thin, and he ended up 18 and 11, 26 and five in real life in his actual starts. So the hits. 254 in real life in his starts and 288 in my replay. But if you look here in real life, he gave up 288 hits in 312 innings, 288 hits here in 280 innings. So the hits were plenty full. And some of it was due to the defense, lack of range by the defenders, can't get to the ball. Bad luck on the D20 on the X chances happened <laughs> happened all the time. I mean, I'd X chance for the left fielder, and I'd roll a two on the D20, and it's, it's a double. You know, it turns out to be a double. Stuff like that. So that equates to a lot more earned runs, obviously, when you got a lot more hits. And now the walks and strikeouts, man, right there, right on the money. 65 in the actual, 61 here in the replay. 60, 162 strikeouts, 160 in the replay. Home runs right there. Uh, of course, you know, the iron runs and the, the all goes back to all these extra hits. You're going to have a little higher ERA and iron runs and, and uh, the whip a little bit more because he gave up more hits per inning. But, uh, you know, uh, Dizzy Dean, like I said, he's, he's probably a tough pitcher to replicate in a game because he is, he's more of a control guy. He's more of a let's let the defense take care of things and I'm not going to walk people. I'm not going to hurt myself. It's up to the defense. And, well, the defense let him down a lot because of lack of range. Uh, for the most part, so 
those are that's a look at the numbers uh this is a real short little recap but it was a, it was tough to play the games i had to really force myself to get these done and that was another reason i didn't put them on on youtube is because i can play them quicker by myself and i wasn't really into it like i should have been to put something on youtube so that is going to wrap this up. That's the Dizzy Dean replay and from 1934. And I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If, if you did, um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you supporting the channel. And uh, I will do some, some more replays, like I said, at the end of the, the last game. Who's it going to be? What year? I'm not sure. Still not sure. Um, I've got a lot of other stuff I need to play, so not that that's a bad thing. That's a good thing. So I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, you guys take care and God bless.